Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, I'm Lisa Marie. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Did you guys like this week's episode? Express your thoughts below. Captain Glenn. Captain Glenn is so different from Captain Lee or Captain Sandy. I guess it would have to be. It's a different world. We want to get as many of the guests involved as possible. That's a big part of being on a, a big sailing yacht rather than a, a motor yacht. He's such a team player. Glenn is an awesome captain because there's no jobs that he won't do. He'll take out the garbage or he'll help with the wash down. I really respect that. I think I'm going to like him a lot. Chef Adam. I really like Adam this season. For some reason, he's wicked hot to me. Until next week, when he encounters diet restrictions. We all know how he feels about that. Working with Hannah and working with Jenna is like night and day. Hannah is a cold, long, dark night. Jenna is like a beautiful morning with sun and chirping birds, spring flowers. It's night and day. I think Adam spoke the truth on that shit. Chief Engineer Byron. I like Byron so far. He is super helpful pretty much anywhere he is on the boat. These guys are such team players. Whenever I don't have engineering work to do, I help out in the other departments. I could be reading a book or something in my cabin, but I want to be where the action is. I respect this guy. Frankly, this is the behavior I expected out of Ashton on Below Deck. Chief Stew, Jenna. I like Jenna. Hell, I'm jealous of Jenna. Adam is hot. Oh, I'm so happy we did all of that work for literally no reason. This is the most tired I've ever felt in my life. What a day. The crew worked so hard and so fast on the wedding that never happened. Can you blame the girl for getting Rosé drunk and hitting on Adam? I certainly can't. Second stew, Madison. I think Madison brings such a good energy to the crew. I'm just thankful that Georgia wants to learn. Thank God. Freaking lucky charms up in this bitch. I hope Madison and Georgia get along all season. Madison certainly knows what she's doing sue-wise. Second stew means that you're essentially a chief stew, but you do all the bitch work of a third stew because you're almost like training the third stew. Maybe Simone should ask Madison for some help because she's what a second stew should be. Third stew, Georgia. I feel for Georgia. For me, I'd love to be married. I'd love to have a go-to person. But I haven't found any guy that thinks that this is a good idea. Just Sis, you are flirting with the wrong guy in the crew. Most of all, when his girlfriend is staring across from you at the dinner table. I'm not a flirt. Like, I'm vivacious, okay? Girl, just stop it. First mate, Paget. Paget, Paget, Paget. He's gotten himself into quite the situation. I hope for the season that Sierra and I can come out the end of it unscathed, but I am nervous because when Sierra and I worked together in the past, I had a hard time controlling my temper. Okay, that's it. I have to make a very concerted effort to hold myself in check. I wonder if we will see him lose his shit with not only the Sierra thing, but also with Parker. Things might even get dicey with him and Byron. Also, please change your awful hair. Thank you. Deckhand Sierra. I really don't like Sierra. Something about her just rubs me the wrong way. It's a little bit frustrating having new crew come on board, move everything around, and then ask me where it is. I'm annoyed that she even has a problem at all with the new crew. Bitch, you can't even set up a boat for a charter season. Sit down. Deckhand Parker. Oh, Parker. 
Why, why are you not in bed? Why, why Mainly because everybody that I don't get to hang out with during the day is down here. Like, I want to hang out with the girls and Adam. I don't want to miss out on anything exciting going on. Sleep is for airplanes, man. I wonder how long he'll keep that energy up with no sleep. Who's the main Genoa? I don't know what you're saying. The Genoa is to sell. I thought you were talking about salami. <laughs> Parker kills me with all his questions. But he might just break pageant by the end of the season. I'm in Europe for the first time in my life. I grew up barefoot, little kid running around in the woods in a swamp by the Chesapeake Bay. So I'm still adjusting to the decorum of the posh world of Yachty. He's all right so far. Man, this trash heap of a charter. These people are fucking rude and crazy. That's the vanilla chiffon cake. Awesome, thank you. Wait, are you taking it away? Yeah, now oh. we're gonna eat it. <laughs> Come on, get naked with the cake. Come on, get in there. Just shut up. These guests act like this shit is the norm. We're just gonna throw a five minute wedding in at some point. Honestly, if you want us to do it. They yeah. don't seem to be able to get around to it on their own. Okay, so, so we can just inform them when they wake up that this is what's happening. Yeah. yeah. Why would you want your friends, who are obviously super toxic for each other? Especially getting married. Is that a proposal? Uh, kind of. I remember your proposal the was a little bit more, uh... Romantic. Making any sort of binding agreement. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Normally, I hate to watch men leave, but I love to watch guy go. Take your crazy ass out of here, honey. Landlubber of the week. For the second time, Sarah is my landlubber of the week. I kind of just don't like her. She was working on Parasol for nine months before the charter season began. Granted, she was only there 10 days a month. But in 90 days, you should have at least thought of the stuff that an actual charter season needs. Steak knives and a glass pitcher, I feel, will be the least of Jenna's problem. Normally on a yacht, you would serve juice out of a beautiful crystal pitcher. So if Sierra thinks I'm going to pour orange juice out of a measuring cup, probably not going to happen. Sea Dog of the Week, Captain Glenn. He seems to know just about every part of that deck. He's helpful and not at all condescending. He's not a micromanager. He's like the perfect sailing captain. Okay, you got any ideas how you want to fix that sail track? It hasn't come out of the groove on the mast. It's mm. just come out of the donkey bit. Yeah, okay, I'll go and have a look. I'll be right up. What's happening is the boat rope is in the track, but not in the donkey. Let me just unfurl the mandrel, like, two centimeters. Sure, okay. If there's a problem with the sail, we will look for any solution to keep the charter going. How many wraps do you have? Three? Go down to two. If there's a major problem that we can't solve, that could mean the end of our charter season. And that's a big deal. All those easy jobs, they're always a little more complicated than you think they're going to be. That's why we get paid the medium bucks. <laughs> peak and pit of the week. The peak of the episode for me was finally getting to see the boat sail. Oh, that's amazing! Okay, let's go main. Can I push the button? Yeah, I, I'm one. sailing! You're hoisting the main That's sail. That's the main sail. We want to get as many of the guests involved as possible. That's a big part of being on a, a big sailing yacht rather than a, a motor yacht. Yeah, I do sail. Okay. The pit of the episode for me was watching Guy and Alicia fight on their wedding night. Hello? Is everything okay? Yeah. I'm not drunk, actually. You all right, mate? I'm good, man. Can I have a word? Why don't you get the f out of my room? All right. There's no need for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't really want to leave you guys alone right now. No, 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 no. You have had a couple too many. Oh, Just a minute, please. Okay. We're going we're gonna to go out and close the door. Do you agree? Sound off below. Scuttlebutt of the week. Adam and Jenna hooking up after dinner. Look. I'm here for it. For me, with a chef, if they're really good at their job, they're hot. I think Adam is wicked hot. Got your goddess hat on. Fit for a goddess. Oh my god, every time. My face just turns red. Every time. I sort of think you're baiting me. 
I think their flirting is real cute. I'm not like an eggs person. Yeah, me neither. I'm not really a breakfast person unless it's Me like, neither, I don't really eat breakfast. Yeah. Jacob, yeah, literally everything we say, we're like, me either. I'm the same way. You know when people are always like, what's your perfect type? Like, the reality is, it would be exactly me. <laughs> it's true. Like, I'd love to f*** myself. <laughs> Them being the same could be bad. Oh, you look good in my galley. <laughs> Adam is such a flirt. He literally came on here stating, I'm not hooking up with a crew member. Sure, buddy. First night out, the chef and the chief stew getting together? Wow, look at this really nice place we get to sleep. I've worked on a lot of boats, and if there's one thing I've learned, it's that this could be a disaster. And I've got front row seats. Shipwreck of the week, Guy and Alicia. If you watched the episode, I don't really think I need to explain my choice. Oh boy. On a scale of one to blackout, Guy's already a drunk white bitch on the floor of a bathroom. As a captain, I feel that it's definitely within my jurisdiction to deal with this any way I see fit. If it gets physical, we will physically restrain anyone on board who's becoming violent. And I'm hoping it doesn't come to that point. Can you mind just stay here and monitor it? Whatever you tell me to do. Cool. Let's rate this episode. Do you agree? Sound off below. I rate this episode 7. It was alright, not amazing, but not bad. What do you guys think? Tell me below. Next on Below Deck Sailing Guide. You have Whitney Thompson Forrester. Put all the sails up. They're all up. You gotta find the wind. There's no wind. Find it. Jenna, get those cocktails going. Gotta earn it. That's it. Oh, God. I'm really f***ing mortified about last night. Um, the f*** is in this raspberry. Some of the bitchiness is starting to come out. I don't think it's so bad. Yeah. People just suck. Most of them do. When I see nothing's been done. It's not that nothing's been done. You're only looking at the things that haven't been done. This is a completely different side of us. Sarah, stop f***ing with me. For more Below Deck Sailing Yacht, go to bravotv.com. Episode 3. Rosé Fueled Regrets. Air date? February 17th, 2020. After a wild, wine-fueled night out, Jenna wades through a sea of regrets and braces for the awkward interactions that follow. A group of high-maintenance vegan guests board Parsifal, and Adam struggles to live up to their meatless and milkless expectation. Georgia gets attitude from Chef Adam and seeks solace in her budding friendship with Madison and burgeoning flirtation with Pageant. And Pageant worries about how to be both Sierra's boss and her boyfriend as tensions between them escalate, making them question if the charter season will get the best of them. As Thank you for watching, and try not to screw the pooch this week, okay?